Okay, here's a little bit about the Chimney Top Road aid station being staffed by our good buddies at the uh, with the Red River Gorge Trail Crew. So thank you, Trail Crew, for manning this aid station. Uh, we really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. You you have made this race possible by uh, doing the work on the trail. So we really appreciate it. What we're looking at here is the Chimney Top Road aid station. So uh, let's describe my ugly drawing. Uh, what you're looking at over here. So this is Chimney Top Road, that gravel road that goes up and down this way, all the way out the chimney top rock. Uh, so we've got the road here and then you've got the entry to the parking lot and then our parking lot is here. Uh, this and this are rough trail. So what the runners are going to be doing is everybody's going to be coming out of rough trail that way. So there's this big giant hill that they're going to be coming up. Um, the complexity with this aid station comes just like at Gray's Arch in that both distances are coming to this aid station. You're going to have 50k runners, you're going to have 22k runners. You're going to have 50k runners going one direction, 22k runners going the other direction. Let's start, start off by talking about 50k runners. So 50k runners are going to show up at Chimney Top Road and it is mile 24 when they first show up. So they're going to come up this hill, they're going to be exhausted, and it's going to be mile 24 when they get there. Okay, so when they get there, I'm going to recommend putting your aid station right there. You're going to have a tent, you're going to have some tables, that's a good spot for your aid station. So, then put your aid station right there. Runners are going to come up, they're going to cross the parking lot, there you'll be. Uh, 50k runners will then proceed on down rough trail all the way out to Skybridge Road. When they get to Skybridge Road, they're going to turn around and then they're going to come back. And so you'll see them again. They're going to come to your aid station. The second time that they get here, it is going to be mile 27.6, call it 27 and a half. Um, so they're going to come back this way. They can hit the aid station again. Then they're going to go back down this hill, down that direction. So that's why it's a little complex. Let me draw this out uh, just to illustrate it. So they're going to come up the hill and to your aid station. You check them in, check them out. We'll talk about that here in a second. Then they're going to go on out rough trail. When they get out to the end of rough trail, they're going to come, they're going to turn around. So they're going to be coming back and then they're going to come to your aid station again. Then they're going to go back that way. So it's going to be very complicated in that regard. Um, I'm going to talk about check-in and check-out. So every aid station is going to have a check sheet that looks something like this. In fact, chimney top, you're going to have two. You're going to have 50K and a 22K one. I'm kind of color coding them. Um, so what you're going to be doing is you're going to check them in, check them out, check them in, check them out. It's really important that you do this one so we can keep track of the runners and we know where they are. That's a safety issue. So we can look at these check-in sheets and say, oh, bib number five, they haven't made it to this aid station yet, but they left the last one three hours ago. They should be here by now. Uh, that's going to indicate to us that somebody's probably injured or they're lost and we need to go look for them. So uh, these are very critical. Um, it's also important because we need to know that they went to this aid station um, to indicate that they ran the entire course. Because if they don't, if they're not checked in and checked out of every aid station, they will not be an official finisher of the race. I don't care if they run the full 30 miles. If they didn't get checked in and checked out, then they're not a finisher. They don't get a finisher award. They don't get an official finish time. And they'll be marked down as a DNF. They did not finish. So that's why it's really uh, critical that we check, that we make sure that the runners get checked in, checked out. I tell the runners, it is the runner's responsibility to make sure that the volunteers check them in and check them out. It's the runner's responsibility. They know this. So it's not all on the volunteers, but the check-in check-out sheet is very critical. Okay, so that's the uh, check-in check-out and we talked about the 50K, let's talk about the 22K. They're gonna be coming up this hill and coming out a rough trail just like the 50K did. Uh, so there, you're gonna see them coming out, they're gonna come to the aid station and when they get there, they are going to turn around and go back. So it's pretty simple in that regard. So what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna have at least one person just watching bib numbers and identifying, okay, that's a 22K runner, so they need to turn around. Okay, that guy's a 50K runner, so he needs to keep he needs to keep going. Oops, I messed up my drawing here. Excuse me, I'm terrible at this. So let's just illustrate it. 50K runners are gonna be coming out, they keep going, they turn around, they come back, and then they keep going. 22K runners, they're gonna come out, they're gonna turn around, and they're gonna keep going that way. So 
it's going to be pretty hectic. So the more people that you can have out here just watching, you know, you might have somebody out here who's just watching bib numbers as people come out and saying, okay, we got a 22K runner, we got a 50K runner. Uh, you might have somebody right here doing the check in, check out. And then you can have a few people actually uh, under the tent at the table helping runners get water, get food. Um, uh, that sort of thing. So the more people that you can have just sort of standing out here monitoring where runners are and which direction they need to go, the better. Just make sure your team is communicating with each other and they're communicating with the runners. We don't, we definitely don't want to send a 22K runner out that direction. We don't want to send them on out rough trail. We want to make sure that any 22K runner uh, turns around here. And likewise, we don't want to instruct a 50K runner who came out this way. We don't want to instruct a 50K runner to turn around unless they go out that way first um, because then they're not going to run the full 50k um, so any questions get in touch with us info at nextopportunityevents.com if you want to see other videos for the other aid stations go to nextopportunityevents.com that's all one big word nextopportunityevents.com click on the volunteer tab and click on the videos link on that page